Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another indie horror game. This is The Supper New Blood, a hilarious horror adventure game for fans of dark humor, bizarre puzzles, and exquisite food. This is from uh, Octavi Navarro, creator of the Midnight Scenes game series, and this looks like it has the graphical aesthetic of classic point-and-click games like Day of the Tentacle. So without further ado, let's get started. This is just a demo, but we'll see how far we can go. Greetings, esteemed player. We are so happy to have you with us. Please, let me guide you through this little preview of our upcoming game, The Supper, New Blood. This is a tiny taste of a much larger story of murder, revenge, gore, gratuitous violence, and delicious food. Let's start, shall we? Let's. Thank you, Crow, for giving me that information. <sighs> Meet young Stewie, the unlucky, sad manager of the Twin Sisters Motel, deep in the remote region of Widowport. Wait, you don't know the place? I do not. Go through the forest until you run into Crow's Cliff. You'll find us right at the end of the road. Ah, good to know. Oh, where were we? Oh yes! Stewie's greatest inspiration is his great-grandmother, Mrs. Appleton, familiarly known as Nana. Hmm. I think Stewie's got some issues. She was a legendary cook in Widowport, famous for her delicious meat-based cuisine of post-colonial tradition. I like stew. No, human remains. Supposedly cooked with <clears throat> flesh of criminals previously murdered by her. Nana was a badass. Nana is Stewie's superheroine, as well as his only support in difficult times. Mm. Poor, poor Stewie. Throughout his life, our unfortunate protagonist has endured all kinds of abuse from cruel, evil monsters. In fact, one of them is about to arrive. Yeah, kind of getting psycho vibes from Stewie. And with the, uh, the dead grandmother, who looks like he's made an effigy of. Do you hear that sound, dear Stewie? Looks like our first guest of the season is here. Quick, go out and welcome them. Hey you, turtle face, come here. I excuse me? Uh, n n need a triple room, uh, quick! A, a triple room? Are you st stupid? A room with three beds. For me and my two pals. Jack and Kim. <laughs> um... I'm joking, you idiot. They s sleep with me. Of course they do. Why wouldn't they? Are you going to give me my key already? Shooting dogs all day is exhausting, Ugh. Shooting dogs? What the hell? Tonight I hit 12 adults and f four puppies when I lost count. What? Excuse me? Uh. Pretty l lame, eh? Barely n no one in this fucking town owns a d d dog. It it's so boring. B -b 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 but that's uh. horrible. Yeah, you can say that. I d d don't know if it's the age of the booze. But my aim is not the same anymore. I can't hit them in the head like I used to. <laughs> but it's okay. They end up bleeding to death in, in, in any way. <laughs> my god. So are you gonna give me the f fucking room key or do I have to shoot it out of your b b brains? <sighs> Sorry, I I'll get it right now. Okay. No one treats Stewie with the respect he deserves. Come on, Stewie. Th think, what kind of room would this horrible man like? Oh, so what do we got? We've got the Hawaiian paradise. Feel like you're on eternal vacation. Aloha! The saloon. Step through the back wing doors and jump back in time to the far west. I mean, that's kind of sounding like our trucker ret here. Paris Mon Amour. The most stylish and romantic experience. Ooh la la. And then we have the dungeon. Become the dungeon master and slay the dragon. And in the quiet ocean, feel the sea breeze on your skin and fall into the arms of Poseidon. Well, I think 
Yeah, I think he'd like the saloon. Not sure about the whole killing dogs thing, but let's go with the saloon. Okay. Yeah, this one will do. It's about time, you piece of shit. Come on, give me the damn key. Hmm, okay. No one is going to take Rhett's gun away, so it's best not to piss him off. Give him the key. There you go. Here's your key, sir. Uh, our rate is $15 a night. Y you can pay in advance if you please. Or before leaving, if you prefer. Thank you. I mean, he's pointing a shotgun at him. I think I think he's going to take the room and not pay. But is he ever going to leave? That is the question. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Do you think I'd be pointing my shotgun at your ugly mug if I had any intention to pay? Now haul your fat ass somewhere else, you stupid jerk. <sighs> Don't take it, Stewie. Don't take it. Oh, why? Why are people so evil and the world so cruel? I can't take it anymore. It's gonna snap. Oh, my poor Stewie. You attract the worst kind of folks, don't you? But tonight, something inside you is going to change. You've had enough of being mistreated over and over again, and Rhett was the final straw. You conclude that mean, cruel people like him must disappear from this world. And to that end, you spend the night designing a magnificent plan inspired by the culinary legend of Nana. The Twin Sisters Motel will be your center of operations. Hmm. Oh dear. Have we already killed him then? Is that what the uh, bloody knife means? Nana, I have a plan. Yeah, Nana's just like a stuffed <laughs> toy. <laughs> Things are going to change for the better starting right now. The Appletons will never be the target of bullies, criminals, or corrupt people ever again. She's going to end up, she's going to start talking to him at some point, isn't she? <gasps> Very well said, Stewie. Justice will return to Widowport at last. It's time to dust off the old kitchen in the basement. Those rusty pots and pans will cook plenty of free meals with the meat of... Your victims! <laughs> and you have Nana's recipe book at your disposal. It will make things much easier. You'll be shaping a better future, as well as sharpening your cooking skills, all in one fell swoop. <laughs> Any wicked human being who steps into our motel will know what the Appletons are made of. Thank you, Nana. I don't know what I'd do without your inspiration. You'll be very proud of me, I promise. Oh, he just loves his Nana. Right. So are we in control of... Oh. Listen up, you monsters. You angels of destruction. You goodness-sucking vampires. The Twin Sisters Motel opens its doors to you! <laughs> Starting the day, we'll be cooking much bigger rats in our kitchen. <laughs> yeah. The the cheese has finally slipped off Stewie's cracker. He's um he's gone full blown psycho. With renewed vitality, you install and clean Nana's old kitchen. Just a, a new oven. And plan your righteous crusade. Right. Necrose cuisine. Rules of action. Welcome as many guests as possible. Check. Certify their wickedness. Okay. Dictate and execute a just verdict. Okay, interesting. Practice your culinary skills with their meat. And then let Nana taste your dish and get her approval. Um, I think that last one might be a little bit hard. Mm, there's an important detail left, though. 
How will I know for certain that a guest deserves to be punished? It would be very unfortunate to execute an innocent person by mistake. Worry not, for I have an idea. Do you remember your abhorrent years in boarding school? Bullies there force you to drink their homemade truth serum to disclose your deepest secrets. Oh. Oh, it wasn't... It wasn't pee, was it? It wasn't their urine. Ugh. Disgusting. Yeah, I think it was. But it could be useful to you now. How about customizing the recipe for your ends? Just add some pineapple juice, rum, ice, and voila. You'll have a sophisticated welcome appetit for your guests. One small sip and they'll spill the beans about their most unspeakable secrets and crimes. Okay, so we've got to make ourselves a true serum. <laughs> what a great idea! Rum, pineapple juice, some ice, and we could add a few drops of Nana's special ingredient too. Oh, do we... Mm, okay. Alright, so where do we get these things? Ah, Cause we like pina colada! I'm certain you'll be able to find these simple ingredients around the house and the motel. Whoa! Let's go, Stewie! It's your time to shine! Right, so now we're in control. Let's start in the house then, maybe. Ah. Uh, yeah, might as well start from the basement, make our way up. We are finally in control. So that is the kitchen. Cardboard boxes. Hundreds of threatening messages rest inside these boxes. The dark legend of Nana upset many of Widow Poet's residents who left mean notes under her door. Oh, okay. So can we actually... Usually right-click. Um... Let's have a look wow. at the painting. Mrs. Appleton, proudly standing over a barrel of Loco Parata, her high-quality rum. It was very popular in the Devil's Triangle colonies. Huh, I think there's something hidden behind the painting. Nice. A little small what? door. Door? Oh, could it be a basement under the basement? This house is full of surprises. Oh. Ah, so many spiders. <laughs> I like spiders. Hi, girls. <coughs> okay, so that's the rum. Surprisingly, not all of Nana's rum was stolen in the great plunder of 1633. Looks like she managed to hide a few barrels and bottles after all. They'll come in handy. Okie dokie, so we have the rum. Good to know. Yahoo! Perfect, I can cross the rum bottle off the list now. I mean, I'd like to, but it's not allowing me, so. Oh, I see. i got to put it in the actual... Again, yeah. Can I interact with the spiders? I cannot. Right. Well. Let's head back, I guess. Um, back to the house. I don't need to go there right now. Oh, God. I don't need to go there. Okay. Go to the attic. Um, this looks like some of Nana's secret recipe. Hi, Nana! You look sumptuous today. Hmm. The Black Fork, a painting of unknown origin Nana bought in a clandestine auction. She outbid Mad Eye Francis by one cent. People still talk about this event in town. Hmm. Nothing on the TV. Looks like another stork built its nest on the rooftop, pressing against the reception antenna. It's the third time this year. All right, we'll just pick up the uh, special ingredient. Be mine if I borrow this little bottle of your special ingredient. I need it for my new cocktail, the Truth Pina Colada. Nana's not saying anything because she's a stuffed oh. straw doll. But there you go, scarecrow. But Nana, why are you always so grumpy? I just need a few drops. How am I going to fight evil people if I can't make them confess their sins? She's clearly talking to him in his mind. Really? The TV again? Fine. I promise I'll fix the reception antenna when I have a minute. She needs to watch the channels. Right now? Banana! Do you even know how hard it is to confront a stalk? They're big and much stronger than me. No, I'm not talking back. It's just... Fine, fine. No one can win against your stubbornness. Right, so I'm going to have to... I feel like I'm going to need something for the stalk, though. So let's... um. Can we actually go... Yeah, we can go to the rooftop. 
I'm assuming we're going to need an item to get rid of this stalk. Oh. Scaring away stalks is not an easy task. What kind of thing could terrify such a big bird? Hmm. I'm sure we'll find something. Right, so that's pretty much it that we can explore in the house for now. Let's go to the motel reception, or the actual entrance of the hotel. Ah, well, here's a pineapple. Grandpa insisted on using real pineapples in the motel sign to give it an, ex an exotic touch. They're held together with reinforced wire, so we're going to need something to cut the wire. Yes, yeah, so I'll need something to cut the wire holding the pineapple. It's thick and more tangled than a bird's nest. A telephone booth. Every telephone booth in Widowport was removed on the 1989 tinnitus epidemic. Grandpa Appleton managed to get this one declared a national heritage site, so its removal was cancelled. Interesting. So if we need to make a call, we've got the telephone booth. So we need some pliers, and we need something to scare the stalk away. Right. Wow, that's a that's a good plastic flamingo there. Grandpa had a strange obsession with collecting plastic plastic flamingos. The Starry Eyes model was a limited edition from subscribers. The Flamingo and All magazine. This thing scared the hell out of me when I was a kid, but now it could be finally useful. Oh, okay, I've just picked it up. Would I use that to scare the stork? Who knows? Nana is a sucker for tamarind flavored water. The only existent distributor in the world delivers the motel 12 bottles a month from its headquarters in Madagascar. Okay. Hmm. Doesn't appear to be anything. Ah, I'm not a fan. Grandpa Appleton attached these wooden fans to the ceiling with eternal super glue. The shrill rattle of their blades can be heard from town. We have a swimming pool and an ice machine. One of the first ice machines manufactured in mass in the 1940s. Very sturdy. It would work perfectly if it was plugged in. So what happens when we plug it in? It's working, but it will take forever for the water to freeze into ice cubes again. Could there be a way to speed up the process? Would the flamingo help? No, it would not. Okay, so we need to speed this up somehow. The greenish waters keep your butt cool on hot nights. Too bad they wouldn't pass any toxicity inspection. You better stay away. No. So we need something to cut for the pineapple. We need to speed up the water cooler and we need the special ingredients. So let's now go back to the, um, the stalk and let's try the flamingo on the stalk. Nana will be able to watch your favorite soap opera again. Nana, good news! I managed to fix the antenna. The TV is up and running at last. She seems happy. I think she's happy. So, may I have your bottle of special ingredient now? I'll take that as a yes. Thank you. It'll be worth it, I promise. Yahoo! Perfect. I can cross the special ingredient off the list now. All right. So, we have those items. Very good. But that doesn't help us with... Hmm... Can I enter the other rooms now, perhaps? No. Ah, I didn't realize we could uh, use the porch. We have a water sprinkler. Due to an unfortunate manufacturing defect, de no, no, no. due to an unfortunate, due to an unfortunate manufacturing defect, the mechanism of this state-of-the-art sprinkler only activates on rainy days. 
when it's needed, right? Yeah, the, the, the humor, the art style is very reminiscent of Day of the Tentacle. We have a pruning tool. Nice! I might have some use for this. And let's check the, um, the letter box, because there might be something in here. In 1976, Widow Port's mayor erased the Twin Sisters Motel from the official street map. Harry the Postman was glad to not need to climb the steep hill to the motel ever again. Right, so we should now be able to get our um, pineapples, right? This tool cut off many non-playing guests' toes when Grandpa was the manager here. If they can cut through bones, they can cut a wire too. Right. Got my pineapple. Yahoo! Perfect! I can cross this off the list now. So now, all we need is something to speed up the, um, and I don't have any more tools. Would the fan be? No. Ah, there was an area that I didn't know existed. I thought it might be something like that. We've got a fuse box. Of course we have a fuse box. 450 volts for free? I don't know if I should. Okay, I'll touch the wires just a bit. Hmm. Hmm. That was unexpectedly disappointing. I think my body is not conductive enough. Maybe because of my remarkable cholesterol levels. Plug switches and loose wires. Add a conductive component to the mix and you'll see the fireworks. Okay, so can I use the things from the... No, I've already... So do I need to use the swimming pool? Ah, interesting. Looks like you messing with the electric wires at the pool generated a short circuit that started the sprinkler system. Ah, oh, yeah. I like the feeling of cool droplets running down my skin. Now I've got the wet skin. So now I should, in theory, be able to uh, electrocute myself, I'm guessing is what's going to happen. Let's see. Hell yeah, let's do it. Wow, that really charged my batteries. Now I am fully energized. <laughs> okay. See if we can get this uh, water cooler working. There you go. All the ice in the world. Yahoo! Perfect. I can cross the ice off the list now. Right. We've got everything to make our truth pina colada. Rum, pineapple, Nana's secret ingredient, and some ice. I think I have all the ingredients for my truth pina colada. Only need to mix it all in the kitchen. Right. Let's get mixing. Mix the ingredients. Okay. Do I have to do it in any particular order or... There's the rum. Putting the pineapple in. Special ingredient. One drop. And then the ice. Marvelous. Yay! 
and voila! My delicious truth pina colada is ready! Nice. Congratulations, Dewey. You're all set. This tasty cocktail will make your suspects sing their crimes like canaries. <sighs> oh, but look how late it is. You better go to bed and rest a bit. You need a clear mind tomorrow to start your righteous crusade. Night night, Stewie. Hmm. Day one. Has Rhett, our gun-toting, um, cabman left yet? After a restful night, you walk down the hill to open the motel doors to new guests. You know today is a special day, the first one of your new purposeful life. We are open for business. our new guest. You should add her information to the registry book, but look closely. There's something off about her. Ah, uh, I can see a bit... Yeah. Why don't we do a quick study of her external appearance? You know very well that most monsters wear masks. Yeah, she's got a bit of blood on her on the left sleeve here. Hmm. Red stains on her left sleeve. Blood? Paint? Both? Cat hair all over her sweater. She must be an introvert. Hey! I've got a cat, but I'm also a bit of an introvert. Okay, I, I, I'll take that. An artist, maybe? Hmm, hairstyle. Hmm. Fancy hairstyle. She cares about her appearance. And then the bandana. She embellishes her curly hair with a Marcella Gialla bandana. Expensive. Very expensive. She doesn't mind shelling out cash to make a good impression. Okay. Bonnie Swari, sweetheart, are your parents around? I need a room for a couple of nights. Ah, <coughs> uh, I'm the motel manager. I can help you myself. <laughs> Look at you. What a brave little man. So young and running your own business. Magnifique galouze. Mm. Mon dieu, I've been driving for hours. I'm terribly exhausted. Mm -hmm. I need to fill out your registration. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Mm -hmm. Avec plaisir. Uh, what is your name? Your name, please? I... Uh, Maria... Mi, 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 Miranda! Yes, Miranda Reddy, that's your service. Oh, come on. She can't even give us a real name. I mean, she could just be checking in under an alias, so, you know. Mm. Her origin. You have a delightful French accent. I wonder where it comes from. Paris? Marseille? Punta Gorda, Florida. But I have a cousin in New Orleans. <laughs> Ooh la la. Your destination. Are you on a vacation? Oh. Always. Where, where are you headed? Wherever the wind takes me, petite me. Far from the mundane world. I seek inspiration in the most beautiful corners of planet Earth. Really? In Widowport? Uh, is this questioning going to last long? Length of stay. Let's see, how long did you say you're staying? Du nuits. It means two nights. Do it doucement. Do it slowly. <coughs> May I assume from these <coughs> paint stains on your sleeve that you're an artist? What? Oh, look at me, I'm so careless. <coughs> yes, yes, you got me. Painter extraordinaire. Thank goodness. For a second, I suspected it was, you know, blood. Blood? What kind of assumption is that? No, 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 not at all. You'd be very, very wrong to think that. <laughs> if I was a surgeon, maybe. <laughs> but I'm an artist. It's red paint, for sure. Yes, and you sound totally convincing. Can I have my room key now? Perfect. I think I'll have all the information I need to check you in. Let me give you the key. So... She did say she was, like, on an eternal vacation. I'm thinking Hawaiian paradise, but let's just see 
Uh, do we want her to get? Is it is it that obvious that you know she's French? We give her the French key. I mean, I suppose so. Here you go, room three. A special room for a special guest. I hope you enjoy your stay. Oh, merci beaucoup, chérie. Here's my payment in advance. I mean, she's paid. I mean, what do we what do we think? <laughs> Miranda, Miranda, what kind of horrible crimes are you hiding behind that friendly smile? Yeah, what do you think about our two disquin? Oh, so Rhett's still here? Okay. Um, on one hand, we have Miranda in room three, a painter with a suspicious past. Your truth, Pina Colada, could loosen her tongue enough to reach our conclusions. Uh huh. But then we know nothing about this guy. In room two, we have Rhett, the atrocious dog killer. <laughs> you don't need to interrogate him. He already confessed his crimes. What is your choice? Keep in mind that justice is a tiresome process, so try not to use up all your energy at once. One sentence a day will suffice. I mean, it's gotta be... It's gotta be him, right? He pointed a shotgun at us and then said that he was, you know, a dog killer. What crimes did she... I mean, she's given us a fake name. Can we... It could turn out... He could have been drunk last night, you know. Let's interrogate her. Oh, does that... Oh, no. Does that mean we're killing her? <laughs> Time to offer you a glass of our special cocktail, Mrs. Redding. Did that go in? Ah. Oh. I don't think she... I, yeah, I mean, sure. I just don't think she's French or something like that. <laughs> it's confession time. Hee hee hee. I think it's going to be that she's just faking her kind of being an artist and stuff like that. But you never know. Maybe she has killed someone. Hello. Hello. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Just when it was getting to the good stuff. Get ready for what is coming. Eight guests hiding unspeakable secrets. Dozens of bizarre puzzles. Create a tasty menu with your victims. Choose who deserves to be cooked. <laughs> All whilst Nana laughs at us from beyond the grave. Well, there you go, guys. That was The Supper, New Blood. Um, yeah, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed the... I haven't done a point-and-clicky one for a while. Uh, did take me back to yesteryear when uh, playing games like Day the Tentacle, Full Throttle, basically any kind of LucasArts uh, games back back in the day. Um, the humor was okay. wasn't laugh out loud funny, uh, but I did appreciate it. Uh, my French is terrible. Um, and yeah, uh, I, was just, I was just hoping that we could have uh, just interrogated um, the lady who gave us the wrong name, but unfortunately uh, we'll have to see that when the full game is released. With any kind of point-of-click adventure, there's that element of just kind of clicking on everything 
throwing any item that you receive into an area to see if it works. Um, so the kind of bizarre puzzles so far didn't really scream at me um, in this one. You know, we just have to kind of click. The, the, the longest time that I got stuck was just didn't know that there was a, an entrance to get to the fuse box area. Once that happened, then everything pretty much fell into place. Revisiting past screens and then seeing the water sprinkler have been working and stuff like that. But apart from that, if they add in some, you know, little quick time events, it looked like the kind of cooking mechanic's going to be something to play with. Whether we get to choose who we kill, like in the instance there, it was Rhett who was the proclaimed dog killer. But he had a stutter as well, so I don't know if that was just him being drunk or, you know, could we learn more information about him? Probably we can in the full game. Um, but yeah, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Like or dislike the video. And if you haven't already, please sub. Uh, it means the world to me. I'll see you on the next one. Stay ghoulish. Bye.